everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce you to Autogen, which is an open source and community driven project developed by Microsoft, Penn State University and the University of Washington. And it is still under development. So if you feel that you would you want to contribute, then definitely you can go ahead and do it over their GitHub link. Now let's understand what are these agents and why do we need them. So before that, let's think about few of the scenarios which we cannot uh, perform using LLMs. Uh, for example, uh, writing something to your file or uh, figuring out something over the internet and that get the answers out of that. Or let's say you want to do some financial data analysis and show some graph or chart on your out uh, dashboard. So these are the things which requires lot much of human intervention because this is not just a one step process. So when you are saying get me the stock or the prices of micro stock then it means you need to provide all the information like from where to fetch, how to fetch, what all packages you need to download and what all libraries you need to import to in order to show that on the dashboard. So these are the things which we can do it in just one statement using these custom agents and Autogen is all about that. Let me quickly point you to the official documentation. So this is the blog written so I would rather take you to the another one. This one and if you will look at this you can see that it uh, clearly says that Autogen is all about extending the LLMs. So you have your LLM and now you want to add a bit more capabilities to it, additional capabilities. And when you are talking about capabilities, these are in the form of agents. So here are the few examples they have given. So you can create uh, an application with multiple agents. Here we have multi-agent where one agent can talk to another one. You can even create chatting softwares or any kind of hierarchies you can create with these agents. Now coming on to the agents, there are two different kind of agents. So conversable and the customizable. So conversable means that agents can send and receive messages and initiate conversation with uh, another agents. And when we are saying customizable, it means that customizables are the one which can be customized to integrate LLMs, humans or any other tool of your choice which that agent supports. So this is what we have. Let me scroll it a bit and I will show you a bit more example. So let's consider this particular scenario wherein user is provided giving some command to the bot. And in bot there are like two different agents and one a commander and user pro asks some questions to this commander. And this question is then passed to the writer. So what this writer does is it generates the code for that uh, with respect to that question. And once the code is generated, it is giving back to the commander. Now commander is interacting to another agent which is called a safeguard and its task is to validate it and provide the clearance. And once it uh, once it, this safeguard provides the clearance, it will go back to the commander and commander will ask writer to execute that code. and provide some answer which will be further given to the user. Now you can see that there are lot many things or the steps happening in between but for the end user it's just a one step process. Give the question and get the answer and this entire thing will be repeated until user gets its correct answer. So it's the one commander who is going to decide whether this answer is correct or not. So this is one of the simple example. And coming on to the, this one, which is again one interesting example, here you can see that there is a user proxy agent, which is nothing but the one who is uh, representing human. And this is the assistant agent, which is like a bot. So these two are participating in this particular scenario and user is asking, plot a chart of Meta and Tesla stock price change, YTD. So it is looking for a chart on a yearly data and what this bot is doing as an assistant, it is executing the following code and suddenly it encountered when a user proxy agent executed it encountered that oh why finance API is not installed. It means without this API you cannot pull stock data and the same message will go to this assistant agent and it replies sorry first pip install first you need to do pip install via finance and then execute the code. Now this user agent follows those instructions and start installing and this is the output on the right hand side you can see that two graphs are there. But now again 
user agent is saying no I want in the form of percentage so what is going back and revising the code and giving this answer so this is how uh, it is happening and this entire thing is happening without any human intervention another example is chessboard where you can create uh, multiple players and a game with that this is another example wherein Bob wants to uh, select a speaker so what Bob is saying is Bob is just connecting with the manager that please select the speaker and then manager is broadcasting the message for the Alice that Alice go and speak so this is how it is and coming on to the code change the very first thing we need to install is pi autogen so don't worry about this I'm going to walk you through again and then we need to create assistant which is like a bot and user proxy assistant is again another agent uh, which is going to take action on behalf of user and this is the question which user is asking so these are the various things uh, which we can do uh, let me quickly walk you through the code uh, and we'll take one example to understand it better so I'm on my VS code and I have already installed the PyOtogen next I'm going to write few lines of code in which first we will be declaring the configuration so for configuration we need to define which all model uh, models we want to use so configuration is a list so here we can define any number of configurations which we want to use so I'm going to define just one as of now uh, let me grab these settings okay so this is the model I'm using but feel free to use the one which you want and I would recommend you to go for GPT-4 because it will give you much better response as compared to the other ones and so this is the one I'm taking let's say if you want to use Azure OpenAI as model so in that case you can add that otherwise you can just comma separate it and add it here but make sure that you are using all the required parameters like the version model type and all those because when we are going with Azure OpenAI there are a few more parameters which we need to supply before making a call so this is the one thing and second thing is now we need to define our assistants so for defining and uh, defining an assistant I would create a variable assistant and it will be utilizing assistant agent class which is going to take few parameters and the first parameter is the name what would you like to call it so I would say assistant then we need to define the configuration so you can just hover over it and you will see that these are the various parameters which we need to provide so I'm going to define another parameter which is LLM config and inside this config we need to define what configurations uh, we are having let me rectify this first and there are a few more parameters which you can define it but uh, I'm just leaving it as of now and next I'm going to define is a user proxy so this is the one which is going to talk on behalf of you and here we can use user proxy agent class similarly it has some parameters which we need to provide the first parameter is the name uh, let's call it user proxy then we need to define uh, let me quickly show you the parameters so these are the various parameters we are having so is termination message is the message which you want to supply as a user whenever you want to stop the responses then we have a max consecutive op auto reply so I would definitely like to define it over here let's make it to six and this is the parameter which will tell you how many messages do you want to exchange because every single message will cost us so we need to be very careful what all we are exchanging then we have human input mode so human input mode I would say I don't want to interact in between so simply never I want everything to be done automatically as soon as I'm giving my prompt then you have code execution config so here I will define that as well code execution config and in this you need to define what is your configuration specifically with respect to your working directory 
and I am saying working directory is autogen. So, this is the folder on my machine and once this is done we need to initiate the chat. So, for initiating the chat we need to use the object of user proxy agent which we just created and call the function initiate chat which is going to take few parameters. The first one is assistant then we need to define what message we want to give it to the system. So, here as an for an example we can see that uh, let us take an example wherein we want to find some research paper on Google Scholar which talks about human AI relationship and once it uh, finds that paper we want just few lines of summary a line or two. So, let us have a text here. So, I am saying find a paper from Google Scholar which talks about human AI relationship and summarize it in few lines. So, let us put a dot here and I believe we are almost done with that. So, make sure that you are defining your key. I have already defined it in another pi file. So, I am not mentioning it over here. Now, it is time to execute this. Okay, so I will walk you through quickly what is happening over here. So, this is the starting point where we triggered this and then user proxy is giving a command that find a paper from Google Scholar which talks human AI relationship and summarize it in few lines. Okay. Then assistant is saying to find a paper on Google Scholar we can use python along with scholarly library and first you need to install the library by executing the following command. So, these are the instructions which assistant is giving to user proxy. So, nothing will be done by assistant but everything user proxy is going to do on behalf of us and it is also giving more instructions like the once the library is installed you can use the following code to search for a paper on the google scholar to get and get the title author and abstract. So, this is the code which user proxy agent has to execute in order to get the proper response and please note that the above code may take few seconds to execute at it makes an API call and all those things. Okay. Then user agent tries to install uh, run that code and suddenly it end up with an error which is saying pip install scholarly syntax error. So, this is the error uh, you will encounter when you are installing package in not in the Jupyter notebook because this is a symbol we use for Jupyter notebook and this time we are using just a pi file. So, of course, this is going to throw an error. So, user proxy received an error then it is saying now the assistant is saying I apologize for the confusion it seems that you are trying to execute code in a shell environment instead of a python environment. So, in that case he needs to rectify this code and do it something like this. So, once user exit make sure that you run the code and all the information instructions it is giving and then it tries to ok. So, here is the thing. So, it is saying in order to install this just install this because you are running this particular application in the shell environment. So, this is the actual code uh, assistant is suggesting and this entire thing user proxy is executing and when it start executing you can see that there are some warnings which uh, user proxy faced. So, all these things are happening and another error it is coming uh, it is showing is attribute error modally uh, module scholarly has no attribute search pubs query. It means there is something more which uh, assistant has to tell because looks like it did not uh, explain properly what has to be done and that is why user proxy is not able to execute all the instructions. So, if you will go through this step by step you will see what all messages are exchanged between these two. So, this is the new code with assist, uh, which ass assistant is uh, explaining or giving to user proxy and once this is done now you can see that it did not execute properly. I just stopped abruptly and the reason why it did not work as expected is because we have given this just exchange 6 messages and looks like even after 6 messages it was not able to converse properly within the agent. So, in order to resolve this what I can do is I can just put uh, 15 messages hoping that 15 exchanges would be enough. So, this parameter definitely you can tweak it 
based on what kind of response you are getting. So again, it is going to start with all those processes. So many messages will exchange between these two. And let's wait for further messages. Okay, so it is uh, user proxy saying still it didn't find the module pass caller. Let's give it a few more seconds. And you can see that exec it executed successfully and how it is showing is so user proxy received a message that title of the paper is this the human AI relationship in decision making and these are the authors and the abstract is something like this so if you will look at what assistant is giving as a final answer is this is what we need to log. So the paper discusses the human AI relationship and decision making and the importance of explainable AI. So this is what we were expecting and you have seen that how difficult it was for an assistant to get the answer because there were so many components involved in it. The code generation was required, packages needs to be imported and all the few checks has to be done for all these packages like these are the uh, packages which were required but ultimately uh, assistant was able to give you the answer and you can see that the here it is saying terminate so if you want to replace this terminate word with something else then you can define it under this uh, is termination message I can quickly show you the syntax for that is termination message and we can use lambda lambda uh, true if it founds terminate so if you want you can replace this word terminate with something else and we are saying get content because in content it should find this particular string else false and the same thing we can place it over here as well So this was the ultimate goal which I wanted to show you that if you want to execute anything just provide this instruction and agents will take care and this is very simple example but let's say you are you want this agent to execute some algebraic equation or you want it to solve some algebraic problem or any other kind of problems then in that case what you can do is this is one way of doing and still if you are not getting the proper resp response then you can provide some data set which are uh, which holds the solution of some of your problems and accordingly this agent will train itself and give you the proper uh, proper solutions so this is how it is done and the last thing which I want to show you is how much it costs me so let's go to this and usage let me refresh it and you can see that uh, it costs around 27 cents and if I will show you it's like 34 GPT then instruct GPT and so overall it is taking around uh, 30 cents which I believe is a bit expensive because uh, if you are working with uh, large systems or the production system in that case you may incur uh, like high costs so in my next video I will show you how can you get rid of this cost how can you make it zero completely by using LM studio and in that case we will not be using any kind of open AI key or anything we will be using something else and if you really like this concept of autogen then stay tuned for my next video and I will tell you how can you save this particular cost which is uncovered here and thanks for watching and do let me know in comments what are your use cases for this particular autogen